Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection. So, I've mentioned in many of my videos at this point that um, I work for a library. I work at a library. I, I run a passport office there. And um, so, a lot of my movies that I've gotten that I've shown off in haul videos in the past have been from the bookstore there and from donations. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, one of my librarian friends... Uh, emailed me and said, hey, uh, Robert, we've got some uh, boxes here, some donations of movies, and I'm going to look through them and uh, pick what I want for the library, and whatever I don't want, you can have, and you can look through, and whatever you don't want, just give to the bookstore. So I thought, oh, that'd be cool. You know, I thought maybe a box or something. I go over there, and there's like nine boxes, um, and so many that I didn't really have a chance to look through. I, I looked through it a little bit, Enough to see that there's some film noir movies and stuff like that. Uh, and then I just brought it all home. So uh, he had said that uh, what happened was that this gentleman donated all of them. I guess his son was a, an avid collector. And unfortunately, he passed away. So this uh, his father donated them to the library. And he kind of wanted them to go to somebody who uh, was a collector. So, uh, so uh, my librarian friend, Alan thought of me so thank you alan uh and now i'm gonna do a series of haul videos here for this gigantic haul to show you guys and it's gonna be a lot of them because i don't want to do one long one because i just did a half hour one and that was way too long so it may even be cut up in parts and stuff so um so you're gonna get a lot of haul videos for a couple of days so to check out what i what i got here and um i i haven't really looked through most of the boxes i'm just gonna I'm just going to take stuff out and show it to you as I see it, and uh, uh, so we will discover what we got here together. Uh, and but before I start that, a <clears throat> quick shout out to my friend Alan uh, from the library, librarian, who actually does have a channel here on YouTube uh, called, I believe, Librarian Gamer. Alan's a big gamer, both video games and um, tabletop games, so he does have a channel here. I put a link to his channel in the description here, so you can check him out if you're into video games and tabletop, you know, Dungeons and Dragons type games. He has a lot of videos where he's doing uh, 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 playthroughs of games, and uh, also where he paints those uh, little figures that you use on the t tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons. So check him out and uh, tell him Rob sent you. Okay, so let's get started. All right, let's start. We're going to start with box one. And uh, I may have to split this into a couple of parts because I don't want it to go like an hour. So, okay, here we go. So we've got uh, Rope off of Hitchcock Collection, which is great. DVD, a lot of DVDs on here. A lot of good special features there. Let's see. Personal Journey with Martin Scorsese. American movies, I guess Mark Scorsese is talking about movies. So, yeah, be interesting. Let's see, what is this here? Uh, volume 3 Lee Tracy's Martin Kane Private Eye. Four exciting episodes, never heard of it. Probably a TV show of some kind. Maybe the 50s or 60s, probably the 50s. Alright, check that out. American Industrial Cartoon Evolution. A revolution. Okay. Something weird video. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> but even industrial animation is probably better than a lot of the animation we have these days. So. Let's see. Um, this is your life. Now, I do know this is your life. This is, uh, I think his name is, yeah, Ralph Edwards. This is where uh, they would invite celebrities on and they would just kind of actually they would they would uh, surprise them usually somewhere and uh, say this is your life and they bring all these people from, from their pasts and to talk to them and, you know like do you recognize this voice and somebody like your teacher would come out or something so, I don't know. Oh, there's another American Industrial Cartoon Revolution one volume one this time okay and here's another one of these, Martin Kane, Private Eye. I guess this uh, gentleman really liked these old TV shows. Okay. Let's see what else we 
got? We got the BFI. This odds against tomorrow, but actually this is a foreign one. I think I don't think this is even going to work on on the American ones because when it has that little number, it usually means it's a European one. So against odds against tomorrow, Harry Belafonte. Oh, this would have been nice. Directed by Robert Wise. This would have been a nice one to actually see. I don't think I can play that one. So that's a shame. That's a big operator, starring Mickey Rooney. Ah, yeah, we get it, because he's short. Um, so I've never heard of that one. A lot of stuff I've never heard of, but that's good. I like that. It's actually what I want. Foreign Correspondent. Uh, yes, of course, I've heard of this one. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie, so that'll go well with the other Hitchcock one we've got there. But I've actually never seen Foreign Correspondent, so that would be good. Let's see. Um, Al Jolson. Hallelujah, I'm a bum. <laughs> Boy, that's really going back. <laughs> now they have this stuff on DVD. Al Jolson, of course, famous for the uh, the jazz singer, the very first uh, sound movie. Um, also criticized a lot for the blackface performance that he used to do back in the day. Speaking of back in the day, Gold Diggers in 1933, Warner Brothers. So this is a musical, or something, I would have this somewhere. Um, yeah, kind of the Busby Berkeley type of films, which it might even be. No, nope, not Busby Berkeley, but that type of stuff, I think. Okay. And here's looking at cheap. I think I actually had this on videotape at one point, so a little documentary about the history of Warner Brothers, so I'm interesting to watch. I like those documentaries on, on the studios. And speaking of it, the Jolson story, the story of America's greatest entertainer. So yeah, Jolson was pretty big in his day. Um, so the stars, let's see Larry Parks. I don't know who that is. Interesting to see it. Uh, David Good is to a pulp. Noir doesn't get any darker. All right, so um, one of the things that I should mention is I haven't gone through these boxes completely, but I looked at it a little bit at the beginning. I know that there's a lot of noir films on here. So Mike, Mike will be Mike from Gray, 1951 Media, will be very interested in in these haul videos because I think there's going to be a lot of noir stuff, which is great because I've been wanting to get into that for a while. Um, <coughs> This looks like it might be a documentary yeah, about this guy. So, welcome to Dark Passage. Airplane. Yeah, I'm shooting this outside, of course. I'm trying to get them all done here. So, yeah, just like in the movies. Airplane. Walt Disney Treasures. Disney Rarity. So, um, celebrated shorts 1920s to 1960s. Oh, and it's got the one, uh, Paul Bunyan one. I remember that one. I've seen that one a lot when I was a kid. Let's see what else we got here. Ah. <laughs> Classic sci-fi TV. 150 episodes. This is one of those, those uh, compilation DVDs. It's, uh, it's, look at all the stuff that it's got. I'm sure I, I can almost guess before I open this that it's going to be, yep, sure enough. Yeah, it's the one that, that come in, uh, in their little envelopes here so I don't know about the quality of these but we'll see but it's nice to have all these uh, older cereals I think they're cereals they're actually not TV they're cereals uh, the old cereals from the back in the day The King of Cool the best of the Dean Martin Variety Show I used to watch the Dean Martin Variety Show when I was a kid with my dad and uh, <laughs> this one always funny always funny back in the day um, a lot of people think that Dean Martin didn't didn't have as much success uh, when he and Jerry Lewis broke up because Jerry Lewis wanted to make a lot of funny movies and direct them but uh, Martin had a, a, a lot of success both on his TV show which I think ran for quite a while and uh, with his celebrity roast and uh, a lot of movies a lot of the westerns he did so uh, oh speaking of all right <laughs> this is good timing speaking of Dean Martin's celebrity roast there you go 
guy, this guy was into Dean Martin. Yeah, these I used to watch when I was a kid too, and they're pretty funny. Sometimes a little racist at times, especially when they did it, Mr. T. <laughs> but, um, but you know, racist in that way where everyone gets the joke. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so check these out. I've got uh, these celebrity roast. Uh, I think these are the ones that you get from uh, from uh, that uh, infomercial that comes on late at night. You just pour them. Wow, this guy had all of these. It's great. Look at that. Whew. Okay. That's awesome. Oh, it's taking a while to get that off. Hold on a second. Okay, so here's something really good. This is awesome. Uh, Ernie Kovacs. Um, Ernie Kovacs, for those of you who don't know, was a really funny and innovative comedian back in the 50s and 60s, nearly days of TV. The things he would do, uh, especially visually, were incredible. You can even see a little Ernie Kovacs on uh, an episode of Friends when, when Chandler is watching uh, the uh, banana sketch, the famous banana sketch he did. So that's great to have that. Awesome. That is a good find. This guy, this guy had some good stuff here. And speaking of Rich, the Rich Little show. Rich Little, I remember Rich Little. He was uh, uh, the premium uh, impressionist back in the 70s and 80s. He was. Uh, yeah, he did all these amazing impressions, especially Jack Benny. I didn't even remember that he had a show. <laughs> Starting to look at his uh, Michael Jackson guest starred. Stars, yeah, true there. <laughs> or maybe that's just who he, he, No, I don't think he ever did an impression of Michael Jackson. But yeah, it's interesting. Uh, let's see. A couple more here. Come on, Lewis Collection, Volume 2. Oh, I wonder if Volume 1 is in there somewhere in one of these boxes. So, we have, this is a collection of their movies uh, when they work together. Partners, Hollywood or Bust, Living It Up, You're Never Too Young, Artist and Model. I remember those, Artist and Model with Shirley McLean. So, yeah, that's good. Very good. Let's see what we got here. Eh, okay, it's a four film. Favorites is uh, some black expectation from Black Samson, Black Bell Jones, Hot Potatoes, Three the Hard Way. I don't think I've got any of these, so this is awesome. <laughs> I used to watch these films. I've said this before. I used to watch them on Channel 13 when I lived in Hollywood and I used to show them all the time. So I would just watch whatever came on, and that was one of the things that I watched. Um, okay. Cartoons that time forgot. The Ub Ewix Collection Volume 2. Nope, not ahead of hand. That's interesting. Oh, maybe they're like cartoons that, uh, yeah, people forgot because uh, they weren't uh, well, for kids. I don't know. Uh, and here's Volume 1 of that. Okay, these black and white ones. Interesting to look at that, see what's going on there. Uh, continuing with cartoons. UPA, the Jolly Father's collection. This one's a little bit damaged there. Uh, let's see. This one, Robin Hoodlum. The Magic Fluke. Willie the Kid. We'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if I started watching these and some of them suddenly popped up as familiar to me. That happens sometimes. Okay, what we got here? Eleven minutes or so. I probably will cut at some point and just do a part two because uh, I don't want this to be super long like the last one I did. Hey, here's a CD, the Ultimate Rat Pack Collection. All right, live and swinging. Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Sam Davis Jr., of course, Frank and Dean <laughs> impressions. So basically, I guess this is a recording of one of their uh, Vegas shows. Cool. Interesting. Okay, there's two more here. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, one of my favorite shows, Dragnet. That's right, with Colonel Potter. <laughs> Before he was Colonel Potter. Um, I love Dragnet. I always watch Dragnet and Adam 12 together. 
And uh, there we go, season three. All right, awesome, very good, excellent. <laughs>